So Jermaine bought three apples for 33 cents each and six oranges for 27 e 20 cents, 27 cents each. Which of the following can be used to find the total cost of the apples? So we're looking for the total cost of apples. So what important information do we need first, I guess? We're looking for the price of apples. Let me see. Let's see. Hopefully, it doesn't make it. Even so, it's bigger for you. We're gonna do get. Yep, we're gonna use get. We are gonna use get. So, if we're looking for the total. Price of apples is thirty-three cents. So each, I guess, we'll put each is thirty-three. Okay, we'll put thirty-three cents. And then what else? Or how many apples did he buy? Or how many groups does he have? Three. Three. And that would be groups. So what are we going to do? So good people that said, oh, we multiply. Need to multiply. Good job. Now look. We don't have to answer it, but if y'all want to answer it real fast, you can. It would have been D. If you're going to multiply, because you're missing. So when you're looking for the total, remember total is either going to be multiplication or it's going to be addition. If y'all want to multiply that, y'all can real fast. So, you want to multiply it? What's 33 cents times 33 cents? What's three times three? Got the answer. What is it, Adrian? 99. 99 cents, just short of one doll hair. Yep, good job. Oh, that was a kind of easy one, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's see if the next one's easy. So, the night. Maybe we can use get on that one. Maybe. Um, A lot of these you will, there's a good chance you will use get. So, uh, night elementary PTA sold 120 shirts. Ooh, I don't think we're going to use get, get on this one and 72 sweatshirts in the first week of school. Of the shirts sold, 12 were adult shirts and the rest were youth. Which of the following can be used to find the number of t-shirts sold in youth sizes? Ooh, do we already know our total of shirts? How many total shirts are sold? 72. Total? We don't need the sweatshirts. We don't need the sweatshirts, so we're going to get rid of 72. Chloe, because we don't need to know how many sweatshirts they sold. We need to know the total number of youth sizes they sold in t-shirts. So what's 120? our total? 120. So we know our total. We're going to set up a strip diagram. This is a really big strip diagram. We know our total. 120. Right? And uh, how many t-shirts were sold? We know part of that. How many t-shirts were sold? 12. That's 20. Total, yes. But how many, uh, I should have said, how many were adults were sold or 12? So 12. we know part of it. If we're missing this part of our strip diagram, what do we do? Subtract? Yes. So you would subtract 120 minus 12. You can go ahead and subtract that if you want to. Another easy. I don't know. To me, it was. You want to subtract it. 1 plus 10, 8, 0, 1. Right? 108 would have been youth. So that's why it's really important you go through here and you eliminate numbers. Because if you eliminate, oh, I don't need 72, you could get rid of that answer choice and you could get rid of that answer choice. And you're stuck with two. You're at a 50-50 chance, which makes your chances a lot better of getting that answer right. I was about to get the answer. Did you answer it already? Did you answer it? I was, and then... I answered oh, it. Oh, man. Did you get it wrong? 
I was still doing it, and then you answered it. You could have still done it. Y'all ready for 8A? I might let y'all... I'm going to read it, and then I'm going to let y'all tell me what we're doing. So, Miss Washington has 36 marigolds and 18 daisies in her flower bed. The marigolds are arranged in rows of nine each. Ooh, each. Which of the following can be used to find the number of rows of marigolds? When you hear the word groups, packages, each, what method or strategy should you think of to use that you're going to use in this problem? Get. Get, because you see the word each. So you can automatically go down here and set up get. So when you have packages, groups, um, each, and so on. So which of the following can be used by the number of rows of marigolds? What numbers do we need? Yes. We're looking for marigolds. What can we get rid of? B. We can get rid of B. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can go through your answer choices if you want to. Somebody, um, B that said B. We could also get rid of another answer choice. So we either know we're going to multiply or we're going to divide on this problem. So what other answer choice can we get rid of? E? E, right? E. So now we've got, our, we've closed down our, or we've limit, eliminated some of our answer choices. Let's go figure out what we need here for get. Otherwise, then we are never going to be able to answer this one. So do we know our total number of marigolds? 36. 36, so we don't need 18 daisies. So total is gonna go down here in 36. And by now you can almost figure out your, or you can figure out your answer by now. Um, how many were in each row, I guess, would be next? Nine. Nine, and you're gonna do what? What are you gonna do for this? With those two numbers? What are you gonna do, look? Divide. Divide. Multiply. What? You're it's only going to multiply if you're missing the total. Are we missing our total here? No. Yes. Are you sure? Look at my get. I have the total number of flowers here. I would divide. Whichever one of these you're missing, you're going to do that operation. So if I would have been missing the E, I would have divided again. You're only going to multiply if you're missing the total. And we have our total here. This is why it's important to know what your total is, um, how many are in each row, what numbers I can get rid of. Otherwise, some of y'all would have still picked C, even though we have this set up here. This is showing us that A is the correct answer, right? It's 36 divided by 9, correct? Equals 4. Yes, this is why it's important to understand what the total is, um, what each means. When you see the word each, I need to set up get. If I see packages, I probably need to set up get. Groups. Whew, the next one. Ooh, the next one's not, the next one's similar to this one. A hospital employs 84 nurses, seven doctors, and 35 office workers. Of the 84 nurses, 42 of them are men. Which of the following can be used to find the number of nurses who are women? Hmm. So we're looking for the number of nurses who are women. How are we gonna find that? Who wants to help me set it up? It's going to be similar. You have to use a strip diagram. Yes, Adrian. Okay, you're forbidden for answering right now. You got too many right so far. <laughs> you can answer in a little bit. So, um, Adrian said a strip diagram. He is correct. He started y'all off. What's going to go on top? Or what can we get rid of? Let's look at our problem. Let's not even worry about the strip diagram right now. What numbers do we need and not need from up top? We're looking for the number of nurses who are women. So 
Do we know our total number of nurses? No. Yes. Adrian. Okay. Are you sure? Did y'all read the problem again? There's 84 nurses, but there's they only says there's 42 men nurses. So, but we know our total number of nurses, don't we? Yep. How many is that, Vida? We don't need to know the number of doctors, because that's not going to help us. How many total nurses do we have? 84. 84, that goes on top. Come on, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay. And, we have, and on the side there, we have 42 of them. And 42 are men, so, yep. So so what are we gonna do to figure out how many are women? We are gonna what? We are gonna divide. Are you? Attract. We We're not gonna divide. I know that's for sure. So you can get rid of Jay. We're gonna subtract. I'm gonna subtract. And by this point in time, I think you could have gotten rid of all of these. It would have been G. Well, that was E. Minus 42. It might have been for you, but not some people. We're struggling here. Michael? Hmm? These are hard. These are going to be super hard. They only get harder because then you get two-step problems. Probably at the end of the six weeks. Alrighty. You ready or y'all need this a little longer? I don't need it. Yeah, me. I'm okay. I already know how to do two-step problems. Ooh. You know how to do them when it's Multiplication and then you go to divide. Ooh, probably not yet. I am done. It's coming up in about two weeks. Division. Yep, in two weeks. Not next week, but the following week is division, and that is a tough week. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. Open by then. Some of you are back in school. Mr. Nandez. Um, when did you know how to do get? When did I know how to do get? On this one or up here? Up here? I mean, when did you know get? Like, when did I learn get? Yeah. Um, it took me a while because when I first started teaching, I was not a math teacher, first of all. So I didn't have to go to Sharon Wells trainings. So I didn't go to Sharon Wells trainings probably until like, I think it was like October of my first year of teaching. When, when I went I to second what grade, um, uh, when I was in second grade, um, they taught me get. I didn't know what it was until some another student in the class was like, oh, we can set up Git. And I'm like, what's Git? And it took me a while to kind of figure out what Git was. So I didn't know it until probably three or four months into teaching because I wasn't teaching math at that time. So I didn't need it. So it took me a while. And what was another one that took me a while to learn? Eye doctors too. Eye doctors. I learned that one last year. I didn't know what eye doctors was until last year. Somebody said, yeah. oh, we learned that in third grade. In third grade, um, yeah. my teacher told me. Um, increase, decrease, roll, and eye doctors. Yeah, I didn't know what eye doctors was until like last year. Probably, this, what is it? Like maybe the end of the first six weeks. Um, my mom was at the eye doctor. I think we're on skills nine, right? We finished eight yesterday. So and you're in. You're um, in the green part of your binder. I also have an um, eye doctor appointment. Okay, you told me that. Uh, you're in the green. Is that on skills? Yes, yeah, skills is in the green number nine. I'm going to let, mo for the most part, you are going to work on this kind of by yourself. I mean, I'm going to be right here, but skills nine. Oh, we didn't finish skills eight. We didn't? Yeah, we didn't finish the other part. Oh, we didn't? Okay, we'll finish that part. I 
wasn't sure if we had finished. So we're on skills eight this side? Yes? Yes. Okay. We're on skills eight and then we'll go on to nine. And make sure you're answering these because this is um part some of this is gonna be in our near pod we'll get to later. Skills eight. And it's got 81 times that. Oh, we did it yesterday in the near pod. That's why I thought we finished it. We did, right? We did. I'm the just really confused right now. Yes, we skills, we'll just do it anyway. Skills eight. We'll do it anyways. Skills eight. Come on. Okay. We'll just do it again. That's fine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call on y'all. Some of y'all to answer these. So. Skills eight, everybody's there. Jacob, Michael, shake your head if you're there. Mariah, I'm here. Remember, your pod has some of these in the beginning of it. Skills eight. Ready? Natalie? What? You're writing these down on a piece of paper? Did yeah. we really do skills eight? Because I'm already done with them, I think. Uh, you might have done them, and then I think we did them in the Nearpod yesterday. I know we did these in the Nearpod. We'll, we'll do them again. We'll do them again. It's fine. Never have too much practice. Bila, you want to help me with the first one? 81 times 9? We go to what first? What I was looking Multiply eight or nine times one first. And what do we get? Nine. Nine? Oh, there's my pen. And then we move on to our next step. We need to multiply eight times nine. Eight times nine, and what do you get? Seventy-two. Seventy-two. You just put seventy-two right here. Because we don't have to multiply anymore or anything else. I haven't even looked ahead to see. Adrian, you want to help me with the next one? Sure. Oh, there's a problem solving on here. Oh. Two times four equals eight. Two times four equals eight. Good. And then yeah. what's next? Twelve. Twelve, Chloe, yeah. And you just put twelve down here. Good job. I'm doing different colors just to show can you. I, can I do the last one? Miss Hernandez? Yes. Um Tom wait, no, on um Friday is there gonna be a math test? A math test and a reading test, yes. A reading yes. test. We yes. don't have a reading test. We didn't have one last week because it's, remember, it's spread out over two weeks. Normally, you're going to, oh, yeah. okay. starting next week, you're going to have a math and reading test every Friday. And I'm trying to figure out, I don't know if you'll have spelling. Normally, you'd have spelling, math, and a reading test all on Friday. And usually, last year, it took us pretty much all day long to take tests on Friday. So, okay. normally, that's when we would have our extra fine arts. Remember how we have extra fine arts? Oh yeah, there's dictation. Yeah, there's dictation sentences. Oh. So normally that would take us all day. We'd work on reading in the morning and then we'd come back and math would be in the afternoon. So yes. So this week you have, are y'all paying attention? So it's important y'all come to school on Fridays. You have a reading, you have a math and you have dictation sentences. You have like three tests. So eight times three. 24. Yep. And then we carry our two. And then we multiply eight times seven. What's eight times seven? Anybody? Eight times seven, anybody? I know it. 
Try right, again. 56. 56 plus 2. Because you have to add our 2. 58. 57. 58. No, a 58. 58. Remember, for y'all that weren't here yesterday when I said it, um, this is our third six, third week of the six weeks, so progress report grades are due at the end of the week. Some of y'all are missing tests from last week. Some of y'all are missing the Nearpod from yesterday. <sighs> Remember, when you're absent, you are you can still do your work. If you can't get into Zoom, you can get on Canvas and do the Nearpods. That's why they're there. Unless you're really, really sick, you can still get on the Nearpods, even if you can't get on Zoom. Like Natalie right now is not at home. She doesn't have her math binder, but she's still expected to follow along in those Nearpods. So y'all that come, that leave every other day and don't come, and I'm not doing my near pods anyway. Yeah, you can do near pods anyway, or if we don't finish it, you can finish it, or it can be more practice. So we're moving on to skills nine now. Skills nine. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Mr. Hernandez, it's blurry. I know. Come on. I'm about to put. I'm going to put y'all in some breakout rooms. Gonna be two different ones. Some of you are gonna be with me, and some of you are gonna be in breakout rooms. Let me see. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay. Oh, there's gotta be a reserve to do this. Does anybody? AJ, find this page. Look up top, right here, in your math binder. There's got to be an easier way to do this. This is why y'all aren't doing work. You have to find the yellow page and then go a little few pages. Um, I know that, but it's it's his inner, it's his connection. So he hears every other word I'm saying. He doesn't hear look for this page. He probably just says look page. You get what I'm saying when it lags? Yeah. That's the problem with some of these that they lag. Okay, so. You would have, this is the little symbol for an angle. Angle A, B, C. Come on, because in a little bit, we're going to do the Nearpod, and we're going to turn that Nearpod in. So you're going to have to do some of this. Michael, come on, get it together. Um, who wants to make a right angle for B? Who wants to show me a right angle? It looks like an L. It can be a big L or it can be a small L. Can we do small L? Yeah, sure. We can do one like this. Like that. We'll name it A, B, C, D, E, F, E. We'll name it E, F, G. And what type of angle did we just make? A right one. Right one. I'm going to put y'all on. Right one. I'll y'all answer. And I'm telling y'all, I know who pays attention during the week and who doesn't, because when you take a test, it shows. Angle. These letters, I'm giving the um, angle, help me name the angle. E, F, G. And if you're not following along and paying attention on Friday, you're going to have a lot of questions. You're not going to know what to do. And I can't help you very much because it's a test.
and I know it's hard being at home to try to follow along with this. You want to make another one? Ooh, another right angle. You want me to show you a cool right angle? Let me see. Ah, make it at an angle. Let's see. This one's gonna be tricky. This one's gonna be different. How do I know that's a right angle? What can I use to see if this is a right angle on C? It's kind of the light. There's a little bit. Looks slow to me. Does it make a right angle? Deeper. Yes. Yeah, so that's a right angle. Yes. Yeah, I knew because it kind of looks like an L if you look at it closely. Yeah, it looks like an L, right? It mm -hmm. looks like, yeah, it looks like an L, but in a different, like, it's sideways. Like, yeah, it's sideways. And another hint, when you're trying to make a right angle, it's got to connect to every one of these dots. If it doesn't, it's probably not a right angle. Mm. What do y'all want to name it? X, mm. Y, Let's name it X, Y, Z. X, Y, Z. So then angle, that little symbol means angle. Angle X, Y, Z. Natalie, are you back? Yes. Okay, did you log into the Nearpod? It says Tuesday 1.3. Okay. I'm logging in right now. I'd have to answer those multiplication problems first. I don't know if it'll let you skip. I thought there was going to be big sounds in the background, Natalie, but everything's quiet. Ooh, now we got to do acute angles. So angles that are less than 90 degrees. So they're going to look like, oh, that's not a good, they're going to look like, they're going to be cute. They're small, like a cute baby or a cute monkey. They're small, right? Or a cute puppy. They're tiny. Correct? It's 9.15. Okay, we're not done yet. Remember, I said when we get, when we get done with whatever we're doing, I will let you have a break. You will have a break. It's not always going to be 30 minutes. It might be 10 minutes some days, depending on what we're doing. It all depends. Um, an acute angle is going to be less than 90 degrees. Ms. Hernandez? Yes. I only see um, Tuesday 1.1 uh, phone ring, graphing, mapping, and then that's. Are you reading? And then. What are we in? And a reading, okay. What subject are we in? Oops, I forgot to put the details. Oh, that, I'm in reading, though. Why are you in reading? Learn that. Okay. Remember, Natalie? So, I said an acute angle. Oh, y'all can't see it. Yeah. Y'all can see my screen, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes. I can. So, I said earlier, an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. You can barely see it, but. Yeah, because it, it doesn't even make, like, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. Because look, if you can really see through my paper, here's the corner of the paper right here. All right? It's really cute. Here's the line right here. No, 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 no. It's a cute. A cute angle, yes. I know Bida's going to do well on her test this week. <laughs> a cute angle. Oh, I made it really big. And we named it ABC. So A. Can I name the next one? Sure. We'll do one more. Maybe two more. Three more. Who knows? But can I can I name the next one? Yeah. So yeah. I wonder if I can make a big one. Yeah, I guess I can make it this way. What do you want to name it? What letters? EFG. No, yeah, not you. It wasn't it Viva that was going to name it? Right? What letters? You can name the next one, Adrian. Viva, were you going to name it? You can have three letters. That was, uh, that was Mariah. Oh, Mariah. 
No. I guess I can name it. Sure. What? What? Um. L M N. L M N. So I don't know if it's an acute angle or not. So I'm gonna go put my paper on the corner right here. You have to put your corner on the corner on the vertex. Y'all can kind of see that line back there, right? Looks like it's obtuse. Uh -huh. If you put your corner, you have to put your corner in the corner. So that's got sticky on it. So line up your corner with the corner, your vertex. So here's my line right here. And here's this one. Is it less than that 90 degrees down this side? No. Not? Look, here's my 90 degree angle. Is it less? Here's my 90 degree angle right here. Here's my 90 degree angle. Oh. I'm just really confused. Sorry, because it's upside down. I'm trying to it's obtuse. Wait, wait, it is not obtuse, look. No. Here's my 90 degree angle right here that I shaded in this pink. And here is our angle right here that we just measured. Is that less than 90 degrees? Is it smaller than that one? No. Maybe let me turn it around. Maybe this way. Maybe this way. So here's my 90 degree angle, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Is it less? Is this angle right here less than that one? Is it smaller than that? If it starts no. at the same spot, look. If it starts at the same spot, does it open all the way up to this line or further? Yeah. It does? Wait, no. It doesn't, does it? Remember, acute angle, they're tiny, they're small. You can't see that way. They're tiny, they're small, they look like this. If this line were way over here somewhere, it would be obtuse, but it is not obtuse because it is only halfway there, right? Yes, no, maybe so, this is what I, oh, this is tough. It does not open up past that line, does it? Look at my green line right here. You see my green line? Yes? Yeah. Yes. This green line does not go past that pink line, does it, or red line? Does it? No. It does not, so that makes it an acute angle. If it were way over here somewhere by the F, that would be obtuse. We're still with acute angles. Hope once we get back from break, y'all wake up because it's gonna be a rough test this weekend. We're not paying attention. Okay. We're stopping right there. Please come back awake and go to the restroom during the break. I don't want somebody coming back 10 minutes into our math lesson asking to go to the restroom. Get a Go to the restroom, uh, get, eat a snack, be okay. back at 945 sharp. Or we're starting without you, I'm not repeating anything. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, see you at 945.